What's going on you guys? My request is to do a video of Windows ME running on this HP Pavilion 6640C. And as you see, there's another hard drive hooked up to it, which gives it away. This is a 4.3 gigabyte IDE hard drive. This is a Seagate drive. That was in the E-Machine Z Tower 366i2 that I'm temporarily using right now to test Windows ME running on it. I did a video of this hard drive, testing out this hard drive a while back using this HP. You can check that out in the uploads. And if you've never seen the E Machine Z Tower 366i2, you can check my previous uploads. I'm gonna hook back, hook it the um, six, the 15 gigabyte hard drive back up once I get done putting this computer back together. Cause I have it right now apart. Cause I, you could sit, see the um, covers right over there. But I was changing out an optical drive. So I can have one that a working one for the Dell Dimension 4300. So I have to make some changes with the other two computers, as you see. I had to change out the hard drive, the black out of place optical drive, and put it into the Dell Dimension 4300, so I can have the proper colored optical drive that was in that HP into the Dell Dimension 800R, so it'll have a proper color optical drive which is beige and there's the old optical drive that was in the um, Delta Dimension 4300 so let's get back to the point of the video and sh stop rambling on and show this computer to you guys running like y'all want it this is my fifth take because my camera went dead on me so I have to use my phone so I apologize for the bad frame rate And that always pops up smart failure. We ain't really worried about it. I'm not really going to use this hard drive anyway in this computer. Because the 15 gigabyte hard drive is going to get hooked back up. So don't you worry. So a lot of you are going to be worrying about, Oh, you shouldn't have that hard drive like that. <laughs> All that garbage. So chill out. And that is the default Windows ME startup sound and also Windows 2000 startup sound. They share the same startup sound as you may know. I'm going to go ahead and show you system properties. The build number for those of you that wonder wondering what Windows ME's build number is. It's 4.90.3000. There's the um, 384 megabytes of RAM, which says 376. It is an AMD K6 processor. There's not much installed. I'm going to do a, la a video, a later, a, di a video on comparison Microsoft Office and Corel WordPerfect Suite in a later video, because I got a copy of this program from a family member who had a case load of CDs and I'm gonna put that like I said I'm gonna put the cover back on that HP once I um, rehook back up the old 15 gigabyte hard drive that still got Windows 98 let me show you what I, a little gameplay a small gameplay of Miss Pac-Man let me put the phone up close so you guys didn't want Okay, that's enough. Y'all seen enough of Miss Pac-Man. Show you Dr. Spato runs. Dr. Spato, my creative life plays after a hero day. Do you are a Hello? 
elder of my name is Dr. State, so I am here to help you say whatever is in your mind freely. Our conversation will be kept in strict confidence. Memory content will be wiped off after you leave, so tell me about your problems. Okay, let's... Before you got time to mess around with Dr. Spatzo, let me show you another cool program that was made when Windows ME was in development, which is around Windows ME Beta 3. Let me show you a small demonstrate. It may have the Windows 98 startup sound because it's a little bit off. But it's not really off, it's, it was made around the time when Windows ME was in beta. It's a very common, you also may have, might have this program in Windows XP, the uh, Microsoft Interactive Training. Known as the step by step. Logging on and shutting down. In this exercise, you learn to log on to a Windows Millennium Edition computer. You also learn to start and quit a program. I used to mess with this program when I was a kid. Especially the one in XP. The members of the Randall family, Cynthia, Joshua, and their son Tristan, have recently installed Windows Millennium Edition on their home computers. Cynthia, it looks like a virtual machine. And Joshua, who is a school counselor, share a computer. However, they each use it for different tasks. For well, that's a random name that they picked out. Computer so that they can for Randalls. A specific user profile. Let's log on as Joshua Randall. Type Paris 3. You gotta type in a generic password they give you. That's like a weird... That password probably e is easy to get in. I've seen on the um, XP version, it's... PWD to, to log on. To lo it's PWD to log on. That's another random one. Would want that as their password anyway. You are now logged on to Windows. Because you logged on as Joshua, some settings, such as desktop appearance and icons, are based on the preferences that are set in his Don't program. that color mode look ugly? They should have used a... Shouldn't have used a 256 color mode. ...start button on the Windows taskbar, point to programs, point to accessories, and then click paint. Let's assume that you've worked for some time, and now would like to shut down Windows. This will save any settings that you've changed and save information stored in memory to the hard disk. First, you should close any open windows or programs. To close Paint, click the File menu and then click Exit. Why can't you click the X, click the X button on the, on the right corner? Now click the Start button and then click Shut Down. Which would make a lot more sense. Click OK. This was made around, like I said, around Windows ME was in beta. You risk losing information if you don't shut down correctly. So be careful not to turn off your computer while shutdown is underway. Well, no duh. You're supposed to never shut down when your computer prop on improperly when you're when. I mean, you're supposed to shut it down properly. But yeah, there's much, not much to show. Let me go ahead and shut down and put shut it down and put this computer back together and take disconnect that 4.3 gigabyte hard drive and see you guys later. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.